the Washington Redskins, 7-9 last year. To win the division championship, they're plus 800. Their strength of schedule, 22nd in the league. Uh, turnover margin was number 10 last year. They were plus 7 in turnovers. Their over-under is 6.5. The juice on the over is plus 110. On the under is minus 130. They are a projected favorite in four games. Head coach Jay Gruden, uh, this may be the last year if he can't find a way to, to figure something out. However, Daniel Snyder likes to keep coaches around and give them a shot, right? So they lost Alex Smith to the injury last year. That hurts the salary cap. Colt McCoy's coming back. They traded for Case Keenum. They drafted Dwayne Haskins. I think Haskins ends up starting sooner than later, uh, and that might just be by direct order of the owner because he know. loves Dwayne Haskins. Um, offense coordinator is Kevin O'Connell. Um, defense coordinator Greg Manuski. Uh, they were yards per play on offense last year. They were number twenty-eight, five point zero yards per play. On defense, they were number seventeen. They gave up five point seven yards per play. They signed Landon Collins. They drafted defensive end Montez Sweat. Uh, like I said, projected favorites in four games. Uh, I like Washington. They've got the, talent. They've got talent. And if you're an SEC guy, they got a lot of Alabama dudes. They got a lot of LSU dudes. Like they, they yes, they're all over the place. They've um, got athletes. I I can't figure out why this team's bad all the time. Well, they're injured all the time. That, and that, that's the thing. That they has to speak to an organization, right? And that's we've talked about this before. If you if you've watched the show throughout the year, yeah. we've discussed like there's a reason that uh, who's the the offensive tackle? Oh, Trent Williams. Trent Williams, who re, who says he's refusing to play for him again? Not gonna play. And if and if he doesn't play for him, like that hurts things a lot. Well, yeah, because he is a fantastic offensive lineman, and I I've got this team at five and eleven this year. We're, I, I we're think close. because they're going to start Dwayne Haskins soon. and What do you just, think of Haskins? I think that he can develop into a really good quarterback. He is really accurate with his passes. He, his throwing motion, everything about him as far as being a quarterback is good. Uh, I thought he was better than Daniel Jones. Like, I... I think he could have been the best quarterback in the draft okay. over, over Kyler Murray, over everybody else. That's an else. irrelevant statement as to how he's going to be in the NFL. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay. Uh, it, in the NFL, I think it, like it's going to take a year. That's why I've got him 5-11. and 11. You, Again, you can't project for injuries and whatnot, but You almost I have to assume am. two or three guys are going to go down that are important exactly, on this team. Exactly, they, because they have every year for, what, three Their training years staff now? is doing something that they don't need to be doing. So I'm going to give a free plug to somebody. Hope you're okay with this. If you listen to the podcast, you hear you hear the uh, you hear the promo for a podcast called Shane Falco Experience. These guys are pretty funny. <laughs> They're good. They're out in California. They're good dudes. Um, one of those guys on this show says Dwayne Haskins is going to throw for thirty plus touchdowns and forty five hundred yards this year. And what twenty five picks? I I don't think we're close to the first two numbers, and we're really close to that second that that third number. Yeah, I, I think this team's gonna struggle, and I also think if they were smart in the offensive line, to, like who, it, what, who's he got? Josh Dotson? Like, yeah, I don't I mean, know. Who I don't know who we're like, throwing to. I, well, I mean, sure, I, Jay, they, they drafted uh, they drafted his buddy from uh, from Ohio State. That's right. But like, here's the deal: Jay Gruden's actually a really good coach, and if he gets fired for this, somebody's gonna pick him up, and they're gonna do really well. He what he has done with the injuries and the problems and the chaos that Dan Snyder and 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 the team president Allen, something Allen or Allen something. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, he's. I don't think these guys are good at their jobs. Like I don't. I don't. I think this is a really hard place to succeed, and I think Jay has been above average with the things that he's gotten. I think they got a lot of talent. I can't explain why guys get hurt all the time. Maybe that is Jay's problem. Maybe the way he runs practices and he puts his guys at risk. I, I don't know the answer to any of those things. I got them four and twelve. I think they got the talent to be a lot better than. Them. I mean, this yeah. is one of those teams where, like, you, if you took a really good cut, like if you took Sean McDermott and you gave him this roster over the Bills roster, like I think that's a Super Bowl competing team. I mean, I think it's a playoff team, but yeah, it's I mean, a, like, like they're in the mix. Like, there's a big difference between four and five wins. And I mean, the, and what the issue is, is, of course, quarterback, right? Like, he, well, they, I mean, he's he. 
But he made a he's, playoff he's, and was really close to winning a playoff game with Tyrod. That's uh, you're so, right. So I don't know that that's the big question. I think all of the I think Case Keenum maybe that Colt, but Case and and the potential of Haskins could be the best quarterback he's ever had. Oh yeah, it's it's entirely possible. But it will take time to develop. Like it, I don't think he's going to come in. Immediately. But Gruden's not going to have that time. So no. the problem is, is do we see Haskins at all? Because Gruden's got to win now. He can't take the chance of. If this rookie's not ready and he cost us a couple of games, do I lose my job? Yeah, but it, Case Keenum, I mean, you, you know what you've got there. Like, I, I feel like Case Keenum was brought in as insurance. You know what Case Keenum's not going to do? He's not going to turn the ball over. Yeah, he did for the Broncos last year. Yeah, the Broncos are garbage. He uh, didn't for the Col- uh, for the Vikings. Yeah, but, it, but well, okay, you got a point so there. So, just it's all about the offense that you're running. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I think Haskins ends up starting sooner than later. Um but we'll see. We'll see. So I've got them 5-11. and 11. You've got them, what, 4-12? and 12? Oh, 4 and 12 We're close. All right. That's going to wrap up our AFC and NFC East previews. Of course, go over to winningcureseverything.com. Go to tunicatravel.com. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com. Or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.